It's Cat with Tom Thumb Glitter. We're gonna do a wood grain uh, tumbler. This uh, tumbler is for Valentine's Day. Um, it's also gonna have glitter in it as well. So one of the very first cups that I did was wood grain and that seems to be the most popular amongst men and women who don't like glitter. So, and of course I love glitter. However, um, this one will have glitter in it. Okay, so I've already prepped my cup. Um, there is a tutorial that I've done. If you don't know how to prep a cup and you're a beginner, by all means, go and look on that video um, and I'll teach you how to prep a cup properly um, and the reason why we prep. So um, I've already prepped it. I've also um, went ahead and put my decals on the cup as well. Um, you can put any kind of decal or not um, decals if you choose not to you just want to learn how to do the wood grain but this is what we're going to be doing okay um, it is not a peekaboo um, however I have done peekaboos but this one is not going to be a peekaboo so um, for some of the inks that we're going to be using is Sefa from Tim Holtz ginger from Tim Holtz and this one is rosewood from Tim Holtz. That's gonna give it that deep mahogany kind of look to it. Now, I don't use a chip brush, um, but by all means, you're welcome to use a chip brush if that's what works for you or if that's what you have handy. Um, I use a makeup brush, um, this is my makeup brush. I got it from the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. It works great for me. I like it better than the chip brush, but by all means, if you like the chip brush better, then use that. Um, and then I also have this other makeup brush. And this is just gonna give you a, a different kind of uh, a look to your wood grain. I also have Mod Podge. Um, we're gonna be using Mod Podge on the cup. Where I've got this band right here, it's about two inches down from the top. This is a 20 inch skinny, okay? And this is where we're gonna put our glitter. And I've taped it off with electrical tape. <laughs> And then this is Ruby right here. This is our, our glitter from Tom Thumb Glitters. Um, so we're gonna be putting Ruby on that band at the top for Valentine's Day. So let's get started. And um, also you'll need 91%. If you don't have 91%, use 70%. Okay, let's get started. So what I do is I take my brush, I put it in a little bit of alcohol, and I dab it onto my paper towel, okay? This already has some tint on it because this is what I use for my wood grain. So, the first thing that we're gonna use is, we're gonna use Sepa.
do our top portion. And ink dries very quickly. it has this little spot right here. I'm just going to make a little imperfection by pushing it out. Keep pushing it out. And there we have our little wood imperfection. And let's say maybe a knot. Let's see, where should we put a knot? Let's put a knot here. Just want to make like a circular motion and then start pushing that ink to the outside. forgiving so it doesn't matter if you feel like you mess up just take some alcohol wipe it down start over not a big deal now we're gonna go with our rosewood do. I'm going to take my small brown brush and I'm just going to push the ink. Oops. Push the ink and make these lines. off the black tape right here and I'm going to put my Mod Podge right in here. guys so we're back and um, what I did to be quite honest there was a couple of white spots throughout the glitter um, I think it came out very beautiful and I'll tell you what we're doing next um, so what I did uh, because what I should have done is I should have taken some acrylic paint and painted that band red um, that way uh, the, the, it would have more of a full coverage so what I did is I actually took I have the crimson ink from Tim Holtz. And I took it 
and I just dropped it. And like I said, ink dries very quickly. So wherever I had a white spot, I just kind of dropped some ink on it. Now around the band, I'm not worried about it too much because we are going to cover up that um, with a band and, and you'll see here shortly. Okay, so the, the next step what I've been doing, I started it already, is I got a Q-tip. And I wanted to actually kind of lighten up some of these hearts, but I didn't want to take away from it too much. So I just kind of dipped it in my alcohol, but then kind of lightly, I'm going across just a little bit. So it just kind of lightens up just a bit without changing that wood. Next, I took my cup outside. I sprayed it with the Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss Clear. You can use any kind of sealer of your choice, whatever works best for you, but seal in that ink and that glitter. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm laying down my thicker red bands on the top and the bottom of the glitter. Here, I'm going to get my bands to meet up and I'll cut it right before where they meet. I'm going to take my second band, which is um, the silver, and I'm going to lay it right in the middle. It's a little bit smaller than the larger one, and I'm going to do the same exact thing as I did with the first band. stop right here but I put one more band which is even smaller right in the middle of the silver I think it just kind of makes it look a little classier but you could stop right here if you choose to but I wanted to finish up this cup right here as well. This one we're gonna actually do as a two leather. Um, it was kind of like a last minute thing. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do another video or if I wanted to do it like this, but I decided to make it a tool leather. So here we go. Move this out of the way. because that seems to be very popular right now. Let's see, let me wet my brush down a little bit. And don't be afraid of your inks, okay? Although I have this as a wood grain, 
you don't have to. You could start it off as the white or whatever base color that you wanted. So let me get my ginger. Oops. Start off with ginger. And we're just gonna paint this all the way around. And you know, a lot of people are doing the squirrels. You don't have to do the squirrels. You do whatever you wanna do. You could do it blue, you could do it pink, you could do it green if you want to. Okay, so we're just gonna go all the way around and you know, inks dry very quickly. So nothing to worry about. And we're just gonna get this that base color first. And with it being Valentine's Day, I just kind of wanted to just show a couple of techniques. Got some hearts on the bottom. Get those done. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm gonna put our rosewood on there. I just love that deep mahogany look to it. Now that the cup is fully dry, we're gonna take our paper towel and we're gonna douse it with 91% alcohol. Once we do that, then we're gently going to wipe the ink away. Not rubbing, but gently wipe. Right here, I've got my epoxy on, and right where the glitter is, I am just going to do that with my one finger. Just in case there's any loose pieces of uh, glitter, I don't want it on the other part of the cup. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm taking my X-Acto knife. I'm going to clean along the rim of the cup, make sure all that epoxy is taken off. Now I'll take my sanding block, which is a 120 grit, and I will sand the cup to make sure that there's any imperfection to make sure the cup is nice and smooth. As you can see, one side is dull and one side is shiny, but not to worry. Once the epoxy gets on there, it'll shine right back up. Right here, I'm going to take my acetone, clean the inside of my cup, and also around the rim. Once I'm finished doing that, I will wash it with Dawn soap, make sure that I dry it completely, and then I will put another coat of epoxy once it's dried, and then we're finished. 